Hi, this is Dom from MyRes. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create something that I see a lot of interest in from our users. And that's how you create swipeable welcome screens, the type you'd see when you launch a mobile app for the first time. As a basis for this functionality, you can start with images for each screen, like I'm going to do here. Or you could create multiple views of a container and use each of those for your different screens. So to start, I'm going to drop an image on the screen. Then I'm going to add four more views for this image. And as I mentioned in the other video, when you create a new view in iRise, it clones the existing view to give you a starting point. So I've got these four other views, and what I'm going to do is go through each one and double click the image to replace them. So now we've got a view stack with all of our images. And what we want to do is create some functionality so that we can swipe left and right through them. So let's go to the first view. We'll select the image and add an action. And instead of the default click trigger, we're going to scroll down to the touch events and we're going to select swipe left. And then for the action that we want to swipe left to trigger, we want to select switch views. We'll click next and then we want to select the view stack that we're going to target. We'll use our target icon to do that. And once we do, the views drop down is going to be populated with all the views in that view stack. So let's select the view we want to show and we swipe left. And just a reminder that you can rename each view in the outline panel. So if the names aren't intuitive, you might want to rename them. So to make this action realistic, we'll want to add a push effect. And we'll need to choose a direction for the effect. Now the way I remember this is that you want the hide direction to correspond to the swipe direction you've already chosen. In this example, we're swiping left, so we'll want to choose left for hide here. And if you get this wrong, don't worry. You can always go back and click the action to edit it. And now that we've added a swipe left action for the first panel, let's go ahead and add a swipe right action for the second panel. So we'll add the action, select swipe right. We'll pick our view. We'll add the push effect, but this time it's going to be right for hide since we're swiping right. Now let's go ahead and simulate this. And we did it. And of course the next step would be to go through the other views and add the same functionality to each. And like a good cooking demo, I've got the final product magically ready. We can see that working here. Now one of the reasons I picked this example to show you is not only because it's a really popular feature that people like to build, but because this very same process, tweaked and tuned a little bit, can be used in lots of other places in your mobile sims. Whether it's taps that use the push transition to switch mobile views, or other uses of the swipe transitions. On this page, I've added a swipe right and a swipe left action to the top bar, and what that does is it shows and hides the side menu view. It's just a great combo of functionality, because once you understand how to use it, like hopefully you do now, the sky and your creativity is a limit. So as always, I thank you for watching and take care.